Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to add a gasket between my Gaja replacement boiler. Uh, since the coating has failed, I got a replacement uncoated boiler. A lot of people have mentioned that you can't have direct contact with uh, aluminum and brass because it will cause corrosion. And so I decided to get a thin piece of silicone, food grade. It's a high temperature raying and it's, it's relatively thin. It's like 0.8 uh, millimeters as I remember. And so yeah, I cut this out and I'm going to uh, put this in my gaja and hopefully it does not have any kind of corrosion problems down the road. So stay tuned and I'll get to installing it. should take around 20 minutes. Pretty simple. Just uh, drain it, take the boiler out or the top of the boiler. Um, put this in and just screw it back all together. should be pretty simple. Take these two screws off at the top. Remove the top plate or the top cover. Make sure it's unplugged. So I got the bowler out, the top portion of it, and this thing will be just like this. Right here is gonna this the old boiler. Ah, uh, but just for reference, this is how it's gonna look like. So it's gonna cover all of the exposed aluminum, so there's no direct contact with uh, the brass. So let's put this in and see if this uh, holds the pressure. All right, put your steam back on. Have them loose and then make sure that you line them up so that the steam is centered in the, the cutout in the casing so it looks nice and clean. Here. Make sure you don't cross thread these, that would be a problem. Alright, just snug it up. Because if you don't, uh, your knob might be scraping against the casing and that's not good. So make sure it's nicely centered. And then snug it up. And then I'm going to hand tighten my steam thing back, steam tube. And then I'm going to plug my last heater uh, connector. And now I'm going to snug up my ground screw. So don't need to be too tight because it is aluminum. So don't don't strip it. And so yeah, we're ready to go. So. I'll plug it in and hopefully we're not going to have any leaks. I'm 
So I'm ready to turn it on and uh, since the boiler is empty make sure to run uh, water through right when you turn it on that way it's not heating dry that could burn stuff out so make sure you got water in there so turn it on and then go to the clean if you have the gajuino and make sure you uh, pump water through Cycle it if it doesn't kick on the pump. Just give it a few seconds. There we go. Then run the pump until you see water go through and then let it run for like 5-10 seconds. And here we go. The boiler is filled up and now it can start to heat and do its own its full cycle. And hopefully we don't have any leaks. So far no leaks, so that's good. Uh, hopefully it holds. I mean, there's not much pressure at the moment. Just running the steam would be the most pressure. Um, or maybe not, maybe even a shot. I mean, you typically use nine bar for espresso, so uh, if it holds nine bar, then it's good. If it's not gonna hold that, then unfortunately I'm gonna have to go uh, take it apart and put this O-ring back. And then also use the uh, silicone to separate the two metals. So far, so good. I think I can just put in a blank and see if it holds the pressure. So this is probably the ultimate test right here. So. Gotta do this discharge too. So it doesn't pump. Here we go. It's a drip tray back cover. So if you don't want to get splashed. And then I'll do the cleaning cycle. So far no signs of leak. Do 18 grams in, 40 out. I'm gonna use my DF64V with the MPSSP blind burrs with the slow feed disc. One other thing I've noticed was when I use my Gaja and I have the grinder on the same outlet and closer to the machine, it always gives me the temp sensor error. And I've changed the sensor since thinking it is the sensor 
and it still does it so I do believe it's something to do with the whenever you use the grinder it fluctuates the voltage or maybe the magnetic field around the grinder uh, interferes with the low voltage uh, thermocoupler wire and it basically says that you have a, a temperature issue temperature probe issue but there is none on the Gajuino so here we go I got a VST basket and let's go for it beautiful nice very good milk ah, delicious so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the top and see if it's got any kind of visible leaking dry as a bone so this could be a good solution for people that have a machine that was an Evo with a peeling boiler and then they got an uncoated boiler I know Gaja has stated that it shouldn't be an issue but I just see the problem in conversation on reddit and everywhere constantly saying that brass and aluminum are very far on the on the chart or table so a lot of people say it just it it's gonna have an issue it just depends on how long some people say a year maybe two but I'd rather not have that issue and so I'm just gonna put a little silicone gasket and now I don't have to worry about it. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one.